Next, our good friend Ed Herman from Brown and Crouppen has been looking a little different over the last year or so. This is the Ed we all once upon a time knew and loved. That's what he used to look like. That was before his gastric sleeve surgery. This is what Ed looks like today. He's on the couch. Uh, it's a slight change, I would say. A little bit. <laughs> he is here to tell us about his experience with the gastric sleeve surgery and, needless to say, his incredible weight loss. Good morning to you, incredible shrinking man. Good, you. good morning. Yeah, I figured I'd, I'd, I'd put the mystery to, to, to bed once and for all. Um, about 10 months ago, October 18th of 2011, I went and had gastric sleeve surgery uh, right here at, uh, in downtown St. Louis. Right in our own backyard. Yes. So why, it's a lot of people, I'm trying yeah. to ask what people would ask if they were mm -hmm. sitting here. Sure. Why not diet and exercise? Well, I've done diet and exercise for years and I was obese, you know, had weight issues from the time I was five years old. Mm -hmm. And I had gained and lost uh, over 100 pounds about five or six different times. And I had done everything, Atkins and Nutrisystem, um, liquid diets, um, calorie restriction, just all the things that everybody out there has tried to do. Uh, but ultimately, uh, all of it would, would fail. And when I hit 40 uh, last August, um, I was in pretty bad shape. I had just been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, hmm. um, and I was taking medication for that, and I was on the brink of needing insulin. And uh, I had sleep apnea, so I used to have to sleep with one of those machines, and high blood pressure. So uh, I thought I'd, I'd look into the gastric sleeve. Now, why gastric sleeve? Because there's several, there's three or four different options. There's three that are popular: gastric bypass, the lap band, and the gastric sleeve. Mm -hmm. What I liked about the sleeve was it doesn't do anything that interferes with the entrance to your stomach or the exit to your stomach. Okay. Uh, the lap band, you know, pinches the top. Right. A gastric bypass reroutes the lower intestines and makes a compartment on the top. Right. As you can see from the graphic, what the sleeve does, it doesn't mess with the entrance or exit. But it literally staples along and permanently removes that outer part of your stomach. So it reduces the capacity of your stomach from being able to hold about 70 ounces uh, to being able to only hold about 7 or 8 ounces. So about 90% wow. of the capacity uh, is removed. So what it means is whenever I eat, uh, I get very, very full very, very quickly. I bet. And obviously, uh, that's going to help you lose quite a bit of weight. Is this something covered by most insurance plans? My insurance did not cover it, mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of insurance plans will cover it. That's something that any doctor's office that you choose can do an investigation on that. If you do have to pay out of pocket for it, in this area of the country, fifteen to 25000 is about what they're going to charge you to do the surgery. Other parts of the country, I've, I've seen a little bit less. Uh, but more importantly... Um, you know, look what you're buying. I mean, yeah. within, and I've dropped uh, about 150 pounds. That was my I next started question. Out, I started out, I was, wow. I was right around 300. I'm about half that. And um, <laughs> You were literally half the man but, you used to be. But here's way. what's amazing. My health issues, within the first 50 pounds that I lost, the diabetes had resolved itself, and now I'm not even remotely diabetic, and that's with no medications or anything. Within 50 pounds, the sleep apnea had resolved, and I didn't need the machine anymore. Wow. And, and, and the blood pressure issues had resolved. And that was within 50 pounds of the weight loss. So the 100 pounds that have come since then have just made me all the healthier. Uh, but it, but it, it didn't take all of this to get all of the health benefits uh, right. that came along you with the surgery. You noticed it in the first third of right. the weight loss. Itself. Which was very encouraging because, yeah. you know, that was no guarantee. There's no guarantee of that. But there's a lot of statistics to show that, that you can expect that you know, to, to happen. So to put a period on this, any regrets? If you, if you had to do it over no, again, would you do it over again? Yeah, I, I would do it in a second, and, and I would encourage anybody out there to get the information. It might be a good option for you. Um, as far as people always ask me, how does it affect what you can eat? Are mm -hmm. there things you can't eat? With the gastric sleeve, there's no food that you can never, you know, not eat again. I mean, right. you can eat whatever you want. It's a quantity You're going to fill quickly. Yeah. The only thing you really need to avoid are liquid calories. I wouldn't recommend it for anybody who drinks a lot of alcohol uh -huh. or for who really loves their milkshakes or high calorie lattes because Got stuff it. like that, no matter how big your stomach is, it's going to go right through. Uh, Great but stuff. if you're the kind of person that's used to eating big portions and that's why you're big, then it's ideal because I feel as full at the end of a meal. Yeah. As, as I do on Thanksgiving. I bet you helped some folks today, and I, I really do mean that, because there's a lot of po people that have wondered about this. It's great to talk to somebody that's been through it, Ed. Thank you very much. No problem. If you have a legal question for Brown and Crouppen, you can email us at greatday at camov.com.